Marksmanship Training Company, all present and account for. All right! Rex! Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commanding General of Training Command, Major General Julian D. Alford, we would like to welcome you to today's Change of Command ceremony, where Colonel Mark R. Liston will relinquish command to Colonel Gregory L. Jones. Please rise for the invocation given by Lieutenant Commander Stephen Griffin and remain standing for the playing of honors to Major General Alford. Good morning, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together here at the Weapons Training Battalion to celebrate the successful command tour of Colonel Mark Liston. We thank you for the constant support of his loving wife, Jennifer. And today we also honor the sacrifices that they have made together as a family. May you richly bless them as they transition into their new assignment. Lord, we also pray today for Colonel Gregory Jones and his wife, Nicole. And as he assumes command, we ask that you grant him strength and wisdom for the great work set before him. Finally, Lord, we ask that you bless each one of us here today as we continue to place our faith and our trust in you. We ask all this in your holy name. Amen. Taking his position in the reviewing area is Major General Julian D. Alford, Commanding General of Training Command. Colonel Mark R. Liston, Battalion Commander, Weapons Training Battalion. <coughs> Taking his position in the reviewing area is Colonel Gregory L. Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. The battle of colors of Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Colonel Liston. And by accepting the colors, Colonel Jones accepts commands and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major Borders is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Two, Colonel Mark R. Liston, effective 28 July 2022. You will stand detached from your duties as commanding officer, weapons training battalion, and resume your duties with G3 training command. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Two, Colonel Gregory L. Jones, effective 28 July 2022. You are directed to assume your duties as Commanding Officer, Weapons Training Battalion. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Colonel Mark R. Liston, United States Marine Corps, for service as set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service as commanding officer, Weapons Training Battalion, Training Command, from July 2020 to July 2022. As a service level proponent for marksmanship, Colonel Liston was recognized authority on marksmanship instruction, doctrine, and a competition and arms program in support of the services, plans, and initiatives. He successfully convened and chaired two combat marksmanship symposiums, which brought together senior leaders and action officers from across the Marine Corps to address critical and emerging issues facing the combat marksmanship program. Through these venues, Colonel Liston led the refinement and implementation of the annual rifle requalification, which has remained largely unchanged since 1907 to increase institutional and individual shooter lethality, providing leadership to five regionally aligned commands spread throughout Virginia and Maryland. Colonel Liston definitely navigated the complexity, scope, and diversity of these commands and led them towards increased effectiveness and modernization. Colonel Liston also hosted numerous executive level visits by representatives, senators, flag, and general officers and civilian executives to forge relationships across government and industry to support the future needs of service level marksmanship. Colonel Liston's dynamic direction, initiative, and loyal dedication to duty reflected great on him and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. Signed, for the President, D.H. Berger, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Major General Julian D. Alford, Commanding General, Training Command.
great day today. God gave us a good day, but it is getting hot out there in the sun real quick. So we're gonna make it make it fast. Uh, just got a few people to recognize. We got uh, General Sullivan who'll be taking over training command and CG of this outfit in just a few hours, 1600 a day. And uh, we got our Second Marine Division CG up here. Frank's great to see you. And uh, PPO. So two infantry advocates. Part of this, what I'll talk about, what this uh, outfit does, is sitting here today with General Finesse with PPO. So uh, thanks for being here. Uh, Mark, you've, you've done a hell of a job, and nobody even cares. Except a very few small portion of our infantry. It's true about this place. <coughs> Weapons Training Battalion is one of those commands that nobody pays attention to until uh, we get serious about killing our enemies. And for the past two years, he's put in place, like you heard in his award, he's changed the way that we uh, requalify our Marines, with every Marine is a rifleman, uh, this past two years, with the annual requalification. I tell you what, if you haven't shot it yet, it's gonna change that little badge you wear on your dress uniform, because it's hard. Because killing the enemy is hard. And you put that in place, and, and, I, and I love you for it, for what you did. Also, for, our, for us infantrymen, you put together our uh, advanced market training program. And we got that implemented both down at our entry level infantry school and for our infantry officer course. You've driven that. And it's great that another infantryman is replacing you with this job. And that's what we need now. Right? Because the most important thing we do, even though we're talking about rockets and missiles and all the different things, is a Marine with a rifle. And that's what this place does. It's in charge of that for the Corps. There's a few things that we gotta pay attention to to make sure our Corps stays what it is. And that's recruiting, that's our, our boot camps, and, and OCS, we got a CO, OCS here, and a Marine with a rifle. Don't ever forget those, those three or four things. And that last one, I would argue, probably is the most important. Mark is going over to be the ops of, of, for uh, General Sullivan. Extremely important job. 17 colonel commands, or 06 commands. 15 colonels and two Navy captain commands. It's the largest command in Marine Corps. And the three of that outfit is extremely important. There was about six different generals that were trying to get you. And I'm tougher than all of them. <laughs> That's why you're coming to where you belong. Greg and, and Nikki, uh, welcome. Um, I was on your board. I had your package. <laughs> uh, I made sure, or else that guy right there, General Finesse, would have kicked my butt if he didn't get command. And you deserve it. And I've been watching you for a long, long time. You don't say so, Yep. You a lot of bad guys. Right? So uh, congratulations. I couldn't be happier, particularly with these Marines standing here behind me. You're the the right Marine to take this and put Mark in the Thank you. Thanks for coming to us. All right. It's hot out here for the Marines standing behind us. We're in the shade. So, uh, great day. And uh, I'll get off the stage and let uh, Mark get up here and say a few words. Thank you. I, I, there's, no, there's no way I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, General Alford, General Sullivan, uh, General Furness, General Donovan. Thank you very much for coming out. Shows, shows your uh, support to the program and, and uh, weapons training battalion overall. So, so thrilled to have you out here. And then also a lot of uh, fellow uh, Colonel Commanders uh, took the time to come out here as well. So uh, for all, all my comrades in the training command, thank you. I know this, this is a busy season for everything. Uh, we've got Colonel Brooks out here, great supporter, weapons training battalion from the uh, from the base as well. And then we've got guys uh, came down from 8th and I, up from 2nd Marines. I don't know who has a rougher commute on there, but uh, <laughs> but definitely appreciate uh, what you've done. And then some of the engagement commands outside of, of uh, training command. We've got uh, Kelly Freshour here, a great, uh, great neighbor here up, up at McKetter. I'd uh, also like to welcome uh, from training command, uh, Mr. Connor. 
And uh, Tim, uh, you didn't sit in your spot there, but uh, you, Mr. Hale, you got uh, you got a good spot. Thank, thanks for representing the three. I'm looking forward to uh, to taking part in that in, in the near future. Um, I was going to uh, just recap a bit of the two years. General really did that. Like he said, it's hot, and uh, we, we got the rains out here. Plus, I'm no longer the CEO, so I'm very conscious that nobody cares. So I'm going to figure out So, uh, that's well. So, um, uh, you know, with the marksmanship, we were really able to do that. Uh, the big thing is that was my, uh, really my predecessor, Chip Ball, had all that, all those packages set up, really at the two, three yard line, ready to ready to rush it in. So, you know, taking over a, a high functioning unit with programs in place, all we did was really through our uh, tremendous gunners that we have here, uh, Costa and Clinton, we really just unlocked and un unleashed those guys. And uh, I think to, uh, you know, great testament to what they've done after we did our first year review with active forces, there were no uh, there were no uh, proposed changes there. So that says a lot about a good team as far as their preparation and uh, and how they had it set up and how they rolled it out. So it uh, was great to be a part of that. And then also when I got here, it was, uh, right after Forces I 2030 rolled out and Expeditionary Advanced Based Operations, and then that that proved to us that we can't stand still and be satisfied with where we were. So with the originally originally aligned commands up at the top, the, uh, the information strategy up at Fort Meade and then down at Fort Lee, our logistics schools, those uh, those teams just realized that we've got to change the way we man, train, and equip for logistics to be able to do that in a distributed environment. And then uh, for the, uh, the contract folks, realized that we need to do better to be able to compete in the battle of the narrative. And I think uh, it, at least on par with the marksmanship of uh, is it the, uh, the fourth design 2030 changes that you all made at the regionally aligned command. So uh, great work, it was great uh, being part of that. Re really, that, that's what the Marine Corps needs. And the Commandant said time and time again, he doesn't want to move out, and, you know, he doesn't want to tell you what to do. You need to, uh, you need to do what needs to be done without, without asking for it. So that being said, uh, just those, those uh, great accomplishments, just some people I'd like to thank um, that had a part in that. Obviously the, the Marine sailors and civilians, I've talked to you before, did a great job, but we asked a lot out of you, and we got a lot out of you. So I know you'll continue that, but from me, thank you very much as far as that goes. And then try to be a balanced guy, uh, some friends out here. We've got uh, Christy Reese up here, a uh, lifelong friend, and her, her husband, uh, Joe Lindy. We were out here <coughs> going to the basic school, literally, uh, Christy and I, 24 years ago, qualified on range three, and I don't like saying it, but she mopped the floor uh, with me on that one. <laughs> Did good and uh, so uh, uh, very much appreciate the friendship. And then for the uh, whole family, we've got Eric O'Hare down here. So uh, thank you for the support and friendship you give Jen. And in a rare turn, I'll hit the wife up front. So Jen, uh, toughest person out here. Thank you for what you do. And then uh, you know you got a strong will, which works for me most of the time. But uh, it's kind of like the analogy of the bug in the windshield. And sometimes it's good. Sometimes I got to go to my sergeant major for some. Uh, for some uh, relationship counseling, but, but thank you for everything you do. Uh, and I'd like to thank our civilians as well. So we've got a great civilian cadre right here um, that does uh, that, that that really punches above their weight and and adds to the continuity of the team. So for uh, Mr. Uh, Elmer Schultz with the, uh, the academic section, does a great job. You know, Rogers, you uh, you keep charging. Your scout snipers try to beat up Miss Sandra. You throw her right back in the fight and uh, and, and keep her attacking. Great work on that. Keep that up, folks. Much appreciated. And then the PWS team, we've got uh, Sean Schumacher over here. Just a fantastic, uh, a fantastic utilization of civilians that are former Marines with terrific skill sets that continue to give those out uh, to this day to these individuals. And then um, uh, we've got uh, within our, our ops section as well, I've got Bob Bayer. I don't know uh, if he's around right now, but basically, He's a, there you are Bob, but basically he's a, uh, he's a Master Guns Ops Chief with a wicked cool beard. So, uh, so appreciate how, how, that, how that team adds to us. And then finally, I uh, want to thank the, uh, the small leadership team. Obviously I've talked to all three sales. I want to thank the small leadership team that we have as far as the EXOs. So I, I was very fortunate here to have two great EXOs, good EXOs, allow you to be a uh, commanding officer. And so um, uh, we had Matt Bronson here initially for the first year. Him and I, I was regimental officer, he was battalion officer, great work relationship. And uh, like Chris now, he's just a great, uh, he's, out, he's out there uh, sweating right now. Chris Rogers getting most of it. But both of those individuals really did a great job of 
keeping the staff on track, getting the most out of people, but they did an environment that, that wasn't painful or it wasn't a drag. So definitely in charge, making things happen, but uh, very, very pleasant as well. And the last person I want to thank, part of that team, is Sergeant Major Borders. So I got here about two months prior to him, so I got to increase awareness of what's going on. Being the good leader that I am, take him in, sit down. We talk about the billet description. You know, this is what I think you need to do. Uh, I don't want a yes man. Your perspective should be different than mine. If we're thinking the same, the Marine Corps is wasting some pay and somebody needs to get out of the way. So that's the way we started off. Now we're uh, best friends and we agreed on everything. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> way to go leadership wise, I get it. But, um, uh, but uh, we really appreciate what, what you've added to the team. And then as far as agreeing on everything, one thing I'll end with was coming to the end of my, my, uh, my tenure here, I got a great idea about three weeks ago for some leadership changes. So I was gonna take people, moving them around, that way utilize their skill sets, but keep them engaged. Supporting establishment, you know, I wanna move people around, keep them engaged. So I came out with a fantastic idea for that, what I thought, pulled the two of them together. It was like, hey, this is what I wanna do. This is why this person should move here, this person should move here. Do that, we'll do it in uh, you know, a week before the, the change of command. That'll keep everything everything working. So I gave him that night. I'm like, D don't agree. It's such a good idea. Don't agree with me now. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Zero nine. So I, I thought about it. I, I was convinced it was a great idea. Went for a long run down to TBS, around FBI, and I'm thinking, yep, I'm attacking my plan. And I'm like, this is good. These guys need a change. That's good. And then I start falling in love with it as well, being like, these guys were lucky to have me. Most people burn out at the end of it. You know, all my organizational leaders education you know they're gonna love it. I just got to put a lid on their enthusiasm when uh, when I ask them what they think zero nine comes down I'm like okay fellas what do you think both of them slap a belt on the fee tray fee tray cover comes down shredded my plan <laughs> as well so, so we didn't agree on everything sorry mate. We, we can put that down exo good on you I still think it's a good idea to keep it on the shelf for this guy but, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so so that's it again people are literally scraping my name off the signs here now so, so I'm gonna change over but uh, Greg, uh, we're you know, like I said, I think we we built stuff up uh, to to a good level. Not perfect from, from what you saw, and you'll just continue to move the, the ball down the field. But really thrilled to have you here, and then looking forward to at the G3 being able to uh, to continue to work with you and champion your success. So I wish you all the best. Hi, uh, everybody, thanks for coming again. Uh, I know my job is a new guy. But, but I do have to say thanks to some people. Obviously, you know, with new private PFC, graduated from recruit training, uh, new admissions, kind of OCS, or, or a, a colonel that's been in command for I think about 15 minutes. Uh, you didn't get here by yourself. So sorry, I'm going to spend some time thank you for some folks. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna break precedence a little bit and thank my wife and family, and then, and then Mark first. And I'm only doing that out of self-preservation because I have forgotten to do that before. Uh, um, <laughs> I forgot to thank Dave Wallace when we changed over to ITB, and then all of a sudden he's, uh, he's in charge of me for a little while. <laughs> and the colonel, and then you know I have to get things right. Uh, so first off, Nikki, love you. About 25 years, you keep the Jones boys uh, running. Uh, the two, my, my two older ones, Jones, we were talking about this last night, they're not here. My oldest son is uh, just graduated from college and taking a job, different uniform, the police officer uh, in St. North Carolina. So we're proud of him, and the, the two brothers are, are moving him tomorrow. So we got the little one here, the Jones boys uh, running. That was fun here when it was like 6'8". We knew more than we were running with cities up inside the little lawn darts at each other, shooting bottle rockets at each other now. Now she's got to be careful because I can't prevent her. Thank you so much, Mom, Street and Ariel, Mom and Dad. Thanks for being here. Uh, my dad realized last night that like this is where, this is where it started for me as an officer. Um, so we certainly excited, excited to be back. And then Mark again, not to see as much gotten the work. I just want to highlight. We've talked about General Alfred talked about this. I think the best uh, credit that can be given for really the AMTP is the comments of our peers. When I found out that I was coming up here, CO Second Marines, uh, Steven Sudi's here, his gunner, CO Six Marines, Jeff Penny, his gunner, uh, Dave Emmel's here, talked to Dave a lot, he gave me a lot of access, it's just easier for me to go from one side of the base to the other to see this and to come up here. And his gunner, who is my gunner at ITV, he said, Great, you go up there, keep doing uh, what Mark and the team did, and I think you can figure out how to do more, do more. So that's really, I think you, you said it, Mark, that's my job. Uh, and General, General Alfred mentioned that's my job to figure out. Have to do more. So, so thanks. 
Um, John Alfred, sir, again, talked about it earlier, mentioned the first time, uh, 2006, hopefully I can remind you some stories. Uh, you did teach me how to open uh, an up armor home beat. I uh, hadn't seen one before. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk about that later. But the information that I got here, I understand your intent, and I will be no 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 change. And uh, myself, General Sullivan, obviously, our major increase in the thousands for, for the infantry marine and the rifle. This is, this is what we have to do, and we know that. Um, so we'll see you again. You have to take for the time out of a very busy committee schedule for coming here today. General Sullivan, sir, um, uh, obviously I was not consulted on uh, who's going to take over for General Alfred, but but if I was asked, I would have said you. Um, <laughs> a couple years ago, I didn't know if I'd work for you again. Uh, so I hope I, hope I did. Uh, hope I did okay. Uh, back on the team. Before I get down to some of the general officers, just awesome, awesome second more div support. I mean, this is past, previous. I'm, I was kidding, General Donovan. The only thing I'm not going to thank the second more div team for is bringing the humidity up here. Um, <laughs> pretty, pretty brutal this morning for the Marines. But, but just awesome, awesome support, General Burness, sir. Again, uh, big deal as uh, General. Said, just Italian that does have responsibility to have you up here. Um, you and General Sullivan would have put me on a path to get here. Wouldn't have been uh, General Don, C3, Chief of Staff, without you guys giving me a shot at headquarters in time. Uh, so thanks thanks a bunch for that. It means a lot. General Don, sir, we've talked a lot the last couple days. Uh, I'll call you anywhere. Just let me know. I'm going to check with my wife first. <laughs> <laughs> she says yes. I'll, I'll be in there. Uh, let me see. You have some notes. Anybody. I go through some, again, just great, great crew, great crew of colonels um, in the division. ADC, he reminds me, packing order, generals, then him. So I got to make sure he <laughs> follows in that order before the regimental commander. Uh, so, but uh, just great group of mentors and peers, Clark Mitchell, partner in crime. He's already researching some stuff. Me and vice versa, so we can, so we can continue to scheme. Steven, uh, so he mentioned before, I think, really the relationship between second marine weapons training battalion. And, and all the programs the battalion offered the second degree really worked on uh, and, and exploited and things we'll continue to do with other infantry regiment. Uh, thank you so much. Um, really all the second more team, we got a couple of generations of folks. Uh, since our major Chris Maddox, uh, Brett Taylor here for the battalion day. Uh, again, thanks thanks so much. Again, commanders, uh, NCR, TBS, TBS, uh, Rob Switch from and I. Thanks a bunch, uh, Brett Taylor, way right back. I know you on the straight and narrow if I got any questions. So thank you there. Uh, again, Marine family, uh, the Butlers, the Haynes, um, just know, known you guys forever. So thanks for the continued support. Folks probably heard, heard my kids around for my, my wife and I. But again, Haynes family, do this and we certainly appreciate that. And then finally, uh, a lot of Task Force Southwest folks here as well. Um, F.A. Waller, Jeff and Jay, and the from the line. Uh, appreciate you guys showing up this as well. And then some of you great, great to work with you again. Uh, great job today. Uh, and really the Marines for the time. Uh, again, all, all the awards uh, and kudos that, that Colonel Winston got, he certainly deserves, but not not uh, done without y'all. Um, so I'm really looking forward to continuing doing doing the things uh, that General Alfred uh, uh, talked about. And, and uh, you guys are pros. I figured that out already. Figured that out already. So we'll, we'll continue to take it to the next level. Thanks. And finally, the, the regional area commanders. I'll get out there and we'll figure out, figure out what that means. You guys, you guys tell me uh, what you need. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchor's Wave, Marine 10.